Hey there, it's Carrie Rhodes. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I just finished wrapping up my Unicorn Picnic Stamp Set of the Month series for the month of July. So every week in July, I brought you new ideas with the Unicorn Picnic Stamp Set from Lawn Fawn. And today I'm gonna to show you all of those cards in one video so you can check them out. And then I have links to all the videos for these cards in the description box below so you can check them out. Also, I will be starting a brand new stamp set of the month series with a new stamp set for August. So make sure and check that out. The videos come out every Tuesday. Okay, so we're gonna flip this camera around and take a look at all the Unicorn Picnic cards that I made. It is nine cards. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, here are the cards from episode one. I wanted to make a unicorn village, and so I just decided to pull out my village stamp sets, the Happy Village, um, the Village Shops, and the New Hero Village, and created this slimline card featuring some of those elements to create a unicorn village in the clouds. And I also um, took the new cloudy, backdrop die and I die cut that and then die cut it with the large slim line and space them out to create this cloudy scene. So much fun. And then I colored the unicorns um, each a different color on their mane. I added the fairies and it's just such a cute card. And here's my little um, girl dressed up as a unicorn and she is searching for real unicorns because she believes, right? <laughs> This is from the Costume Party stamp set. So I'm really working on doing the inside of my cards and I've been having so much fun doing it. So then I thought, let's take a zoom in on one of these houses and see what's going on in the life of a unicorn. So I made this card also using that cloudy backdrop and then I used the house builder die to make um, something that resembles this house. And so I added glitter accents because, you know, it's a unicorn house. It has to have glitter. We have a little car pulling up, bringing ice cream to this unicorn. And we've got the cleaning fairy inside the house. This card was just so much fun to make. And I love these little fairies. There's two fairies in the unicorn picnic set. And then the um, little sparkle stamp set. This is a miniature set. It also has two fairies. And the fairies are exactly the same except the reverse image. So you actually have four different fairies. And they see how they're facing different ways. Love it. All right. So then we have a little unicorn on the inside on another piece of cloud. This cloud is the die from the unicorn picnic stamp set. I just didn't stamp it. I cut it from that pixie dust cardstock that I used on the front. So there's episode one. So fun. Okay. Episode two was all about glitter. My question was, can you ever have enough glitter? Like, would I get to the point where I thought that's too much glitter? So I pulled out all my glittery things and pastes, glitter, gels, um, all of the things, pens. And for this card, I used a, a paste that was pearlized. So when you tilt this, you can see the stars from the starry sky stencil are pearlized. And then I used the um, gel, the glitter pen from Lawn Fawn. I would show it to you if I could find it. I think it's packed in my bag. And then I used glitter paper. So three different ways, but it's um, pretty subtle. I also used pearlized embossing powder on my sentiment. There's a little fuzz on there. Okay, then for this one, I took it up a notch. I did the same stencil with some um, glitter glitz gel. I had three different gels. I'll, you'll have to check out the video to um, see which ones I used on which card. And then I also used glitter, um, just a fine glitter and a two-way glue pen to add glitter all over this card. So I think this one turned out fabulous. It's also an interactive card because my daughter and I had a debate and she told me that unicorns can't fly. So this was my answer to that with the fairies sprinkling pixie dust onto the unicorns so they could fly. So there's one flying unicorn on this card. And then we've got the inside. Cute. Okay, now here's the one I thought. The chunky glitter, if it would have been just on the clouds and the rainbow, maybe. But then I added it everywhere. And it, I do feel like it's a little 
much, but so many of you really liked the look of this. And I like the look of it too. I think a little less for me would be better. So that's my take on this one. And the unicorn is flying over the rainbow using the reveal wheel to help him move. So fun. Okay, then we have the inside. So there are the cards from episode two. Remember, I will link these below for you to check out if you did not get a chance to see them. Okay, moving on to episode three, we have My Little Pony inspired cards. So my kids were really into My Little Pony. Um, so was I when I was little. I loved it. So I wanted to make these unicorns look like My Little Pony. So I thought they would have a ton of fun doing a picnic. And I wanted to use the reveal wheel with the reveal wheel sentiments to say, hope your day is extra cool, very happy, fun filled, extra cool. And they have all these fun picnic foods from the unicorn picnic set. I have Twilight Sparkle, Rainbow Dash, and Pinkie Pie on this card. And then Rarity is on the inside. And I just turned this into a happy birthday card. Okay, then I wanted to incorporate all of the ponies and make a rainbow. So I used this die right here from Whimsy Stamps. It's the wavy die waves it's the waves die from whimsy stamps it's been in and out of stock as with a lot of things during this um quarantine all the things you know what i'm talking about so it can be hard to find i will link it for you below and um i know at the not too shabby shop she has a waiting list that she'll notify you when it comes back in and she has great prices which is where i got mine so we have pinkie pie we have applejack fluttershy Rainbow Dash, Rarity, and Spike, who it, I believe is this Rarity's pet. Or it, no, 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 no. It is actually this one. I just said her name and now it's going to not come to me. Mm -hmm. So they're on a little adventure. May your day be filled with adventure. And I have little cutie marks on them that I drew or I stamped and I added elements to their each square that kind of goes with them. So then we have a uh, twilight sparkle on the inside. Oh my gosh. It's early in the morning, y'all. Okay. So there we have episode three. So for episode four, I took the leftover pieces from this card so this piece that cut out here is right there. I also had an outer frame that I used right here. And I built up the layers of the die with white paper to make a shaker in each window that went with each of my magical creatures. So we have all these mystical and magical creatures like the, un the uh, mermaid. We have a gnome, the yeti, a dragon, and the unicorn. And of course, fairies. And then they each have shaker elements that match their square. And we have another unicorn on the inside. So I had this idea for this card from the very beginning and I think it is just so much fun. I love it. Okay, so with that one in episode four, I made another shaker card, which is a reveal wheel shaker card. So each time you turn the wheel, you have a different shaker in that cloud. The first one are rainbow drops, raindrops, sorry, raindrops. Then we have little tiny clouds. I got all these shaker elements from Trinity Stamps. And then the third one is rainbows. So fun. And I use the rainbow die here, the stitched rainbow die. And then I colored my unicorns so that they had different colors of different shades of the same color in their hair and I just I liked finding different ways to color them each time and I liked coloring them where they weren't white I stenciled the inside of this card so that is episode four all about shakers anytime you watch my stamp set up the month series you're probably gonna see an episode with a shaker card because I love them so much okay then I wanted to show you my um, oopsie card. So I have this shaker card that has sand in it. This was for um, not my stamp set of the month series, but a blog hop that I do with the group called Lawn Fawn Fans. And um, I made this as a summer themed card and I wanted to put the sand in there, but I put it between two 
window sheets. You can, I'll link this video below, you can see it. And um, there's so much static that my sand is really sticking. If I tap it for quite a while, some of the sand will go down and you can see the scene a little bit better. But um, that's a lesson in using an anti-static powder tool generously on both window sheets. So I wanted to show that one because I am in love with this card despite my sand problem. Yeah, love it. So there are 10 cards made with the Unicorn Picnic stamp set. 10 cards. Now that I have done this review video, I will be sending out the cards that are going to the winners of my card giveaway this month. Did you guys like the card giveaway? Do you feel like that's something I should continue to do? Let me know in the comments below, and if you have a favorite card here, let me know which one was your favorite from this series. Okay, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for stopping by, and watch for that new video to come out very soon for the August Stamp Set of the Month series. All right, happy stamping. Bye.